nice and easy to get out now. My favourite car to drive and to be a passenger in. Um, beautiful, will go anywhere and do everything you need it to do. It's a Range Rover 4.4 TD V8 Westminster 4x4. It's 2012 on a 62 plate. Fuel economy, urban 24.6. Extra urban 34.4. Combined is 30.1, which is tremendous really out of a car this size. Um, 0 to 67.5 seconds, which again is fantastic. Top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 308 brake horsepower 32 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 297 pounds, 12 months is 540. This car is MOT'd until the 1st of 2019, and it was last serviced at 74,007 miles, having done 60, sorry, 76,000. Uh, 400 and something now I'll tell you exactly when I get in the car I'll just show you around it uh, first of all on the front here we've got xenon headlamps high pressure headlamp wash front fogs parking sensors multi-spoke alloy wheels shod with Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires which are almost new we've got here the top tint it's got glass sunroof electric glass sunroof plastic door protectors at the bottom absolutely beautiful car just showing the back the uh, split rear tailgate electric switches on both there we've got the load cover plenty of room in the back tailgate is uh, strong enough to sit on as well so uh, bags of room for five people in the car and all the luggage. Reversing camera is just up there and also the, the wipers hidden from view and uh, the elements by this uh, integrated rear spoiler. Reversing sensors in the back. Bags of room, the seats are like armchairs, um, like new in the back here. We've got this uh, rear centre armrest, which also doubles as a little bit of storage. You get your phone in there, cup holders, got heated rear seats, uh, and your own blower and heater controls in the back here. This uh, piano black insets to the doors, Harman Kardon speakers in the back. Um, it's there's plenty of headroom, really, really comfortable. Nice big headrest. Airbags in the door pillars and the B pillars there. So a uh, very, very safe environment. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Two remote keys for it, proper big things, you'll never lose those. If you drop it, you'll hear it hit the floor. Turn that down a second. Right, we have a proper service book, and even better than a proper service book, what I always like to see. It's been done by somebody who's pretty conscientious. Uh, first of all, 3rd of 7, 2013, 12569. Marshall Land Rover, then 27982, 7th of 7, 2014, Rocal Moors Leeds. Then we get on to the, the proper chap. And the, again, if they just stamp it, then you, unless you've got the invoices, you don't really know what's happened. But here at 38,007 miles, replace engine oil and filter, replace pollen filter, so you know what's been done. Is uh, is actually ticked as well uh, what, what's been done up there that's uh, 17th of 6 2015 at Green Oval Garage um, Leeds All right, just by looking at that I can tell you this guy's a <laughs> prop I've never met him I don't know which garage it is but he's a proper guy uh, he's got the stamp in the middle you can read everything his telephone number 
proper signature, not just scrawled, and he's taken the time to, to write that in. And again, the, whoever's had this Range Rover before has taken it back to the chat, which is always a good sign as well. Replace engine oil and filter air, fuel and uh, pollen filters, replace seat filters, and um, that's 49,025 on the 25th of the 5th, 2016. And, and although it's only a minor thing, replacing the seat filters, we've, we've done them ourselves in the past, but these are heated and cooled seats. So it draws air in from underneath, heats it, and then blows it through these perforations. The same when, with the air con, it cools it, keeps your back cool so you're not all bumming sweaty on hot days. But also equally, you don't want a, a collection of dirt blowing through your seats onto the back of your shirt or or just dirty in these holes so that that's you know just simple things like that it's always great to see 60,787 at 24th of 5th 2017 oil auto gearbox oils replace front disc pads then 24th of 5th 2018 replace engine oil and filter that was done at 74,007 miles um, I did say how many miles the car had done before, but when it when it comes back on, I'll I'll tell you exactly because I've been uh, driving around in it. So proper proper service book, and you can tell it's been done by a proper independent dealer who uh, who studied what needs, sat down, looked what he's doing, and and then then done it. So it's got one of these switches here. It's a it's two glove box or two glove boxes box size as Alan Partridge would say and you've got a multiplay CD in the top one and then you keep the the rest in the bottom here we've got right sat nav got to agree on that you've also got TV so we'll just switch the TV on um, TV here we go put the TV on put the TV on the picture it just takes a second or two there we go so that, that's the full picture because I've got the handbrake on I as a driver I can see it however as soon as you put it in gear the TV goes off but the passenger can still see it you just check yeah the passenger can still see it and I can't see anything so with the dual screen um, system here I can have the navigation on so I can see the nav here and then the passenger can still watch the TV, which is pretty good, and it, it, it obviously doesn't distract the driver. Um, you've also got, if you go into home menu here, you've got here time climate. So you can set the heater to come on in the morning to defrost your car before you actually get in, which, which is a great thing. And, and it's just little things like that. You've got a heated front screen. I'll t actually, I'll, I'll tell you as, as we go. Um, electric seats so you've got here electric seats I can go up here even the headrest there you go the headrest and door mirrors let's just move everything just to give you a, a clear demonstration so it's got three position electric memory seats as well and if I can just find it here it, it is a bit out of the way on here but let's just see if that's one so there you go remembers your steering wheel position your, your door mirrors and uh, seat so uh, it's three positions so you and your missus or, or whatever jump in and go straight to your favorite position without keep uh, messing about nice big front central armrest in here there's a, an iPod connector a USB place to put your phone pens whatever I'll take you for a ride in it now as I say the, these are my uh, favorite cars it's just showing the smart keys batteries low but uh, we'll, we'll change that click OK to clear that and it's got this uh, TFT screen uh, what is it uh, thin film transistor screen and it's 12.3 inches I think across so really really clear displays and the rotary gear knob which is uh, my favorite it's I think it's a heck of a lot better than having a, a big gear stick here 
but uh, off we go. And <laughs> honestly, I can't tell you how much I love these cars. They're so comfortable and you feel indestructible. I, uh, I went to um, York a few months ago and it was lashing down. Everybody was struggling. The, sp the spray was up to here, which is everybody else's windscreen, but I could still see above it. And, uh, you know, I, th I think there were a few frantic people that day because brake lights were flashing on, they were going into spray and couldn't see where they were going. And I was fine. And, and that's, they just, they just glide along and take everything in the stride. just take me back to normal height I was messing about the little switch here you press the switch and the car lowers itself so it's easier for you to get out you can pump the suspension up and go higher it's air suspension and there's all different terrain responses here and uh, which alters the uh, alters the suspension here we go Power folding door mirrors. The heated and cooled seats are there. If you switch that on, let's just see, switch it on. So turn that side, it heats. Turn the other side, it uh, uses the air conditioning and blows cool air through these perforations. So that's really good. Best thing about, well, apart from being four wheel drive in winter, is uh, I'm using, I usually use a Range Rover Sport, but we haven't got one at the moment. Um, and it, this, this is a bit too big for me, just one person and my camera equipment. Um, best thing is though, everybody's scraping away all their ice off the windscreen and the snow, and you jump in, click the heated front screen, and it just melts away. And you've already got your heated seats on, and here. And until you've had one of these, you just don't know how much you'll miss it when you've not got it heated steering wheel and this steering wheel gets toasty um, in a few seconds I can feel it warming up already it's lovely but the auto wipers coming on there you've got paddle shift here um, you can turn into sport there but to be honest uh, I, I don't think I've ever put a Range Rover in sport uh, apart from showing people what it does so uh, when I'm driving normally I mean <laughs> they are <laughs> two tons plus and you accelerate away like that uh, but <laughs> the air suspension it doesn't matter what the, the terrain's like it just smooths it out and uh, honestly when I'm in a Range Rover I feel sorry for everybody else in other cars they are they're just brilliant this is Xenon headlights high pressure headlamp wash you look down on everybody at uh, traffic lights you can see over everybody except this van of course in front of me here but y you can see what's happening um, two or three cars ahead so you can be uh, braking or taking evasive action before the car in front of you knows what's going on. I won't go up the M6 today, that's, that's a bad sign when you see somebody with a caravan on the back. just go into uh, navigation I'll just show you that uh, screen there and um, actually it's just I can't see whether the television's on but I'll just put it on radio so I, I don't uh, get a copyright strike on YouTube so there we go back on the it's here we go just give it some gas again <laughs> 
70 miles an hour there. And that's just, uh, that's just set the cruise control. I'll just take it up a little bit. Uh, it was just a little bit less than 70. So that's 70 there. And we're doing 1400 revs at 70 miles an hour in a, a probably a two and a half ton vehicle. Um, car is just ticking over 4.4 litre, 308 brake horsepower. It's it's just awesome, and you just don't feel like you're moving. It's nice and quiet. I'll seat back a bit more. <sighs> this is the life. You've also got these adjustable fronts. So you've got the big front centre armrest here, and then these adjustable ones here at the side. Nice big fat door card. Just try the wipers. Yep, they're fine. I'm just going to slow down here, let this person out. Get everybody's just filtered in. Yeah, we're okay now just go and have a look at this car at the front which is very interesting as well there we go the VW camper air cooled and a lady driving that's great to see I, I could just keep going forever in this car. The sound system as well, um, Harman Kard speakers, they are absolutely brilliant. If, if you, not the crap they make these days, but if you're, a, if you're a, a fan of good music, then it's, listening to it in the car is as good as anyway. In, fa it, in fact, it's probably better because engineers have designed these Range Rovers to be as soundproof as possible so you get a really good environment for listening to music in. I, I, can, I can usually find something that I don't like about a car. Um, not, not a lot these days because pretty much they're all designed by computer but there is nothing in this car that I, I don't like. Everything's fantastic. We've got the glass sunroof there so it's a tilt and slide. Just take that all the way back. And then back again. Got the shade blind. I mean, I, I like, I like Bentleys. I've got off sports cars a, a little bit these days. I like the look of them, but driving them and feeling like you're on a skateboard, that's, uh, that, that ain't me anymore. As I say, these, you can jump in it, and it doesn't matter where you want to go. Um, you know you're just going to get there. It doesn't matter whether it's snowing, it's icy, it's, it's throwing it down. And I think they've got, um, is it 20 inches... Uh, clearance underneath and uh, or, or you can be submerged up to 20 inches it's, it's something ridiculous and round here in the winter when it rains really hard especially where we are at the, the garage the the rain cascades down through the the, uh, the pipes blows the grids off halfway down the hill and even lifts the road up it, it, it kind of separates the tarmac from the road the, the pressures that driven and at the bottom I don't know you've, you've probably got eight nine inches of water and sometimes you, you see cars trying to get through and you get stuck with one of these you can just you can go where you want I could just stay out in this car all day you got airbags you've got knee bags here um, which I've discussed in another video. So, uh, an airbag, you've got airbags in the B pillar and the C pillar. You, uh, you just need to make sure if you have got knee bags 
that you haven't got when you it doesn't matter here because it's it's key keyless go but if you've got an ignition key here with a load of keys hanging from it and you've got knee bags then you you need to be careful or just separate them the heat is fantastic as well low-end torque just accelerates away effortlessly paddle shift here command shift selected drive 3 drive 4 drive 5 drive 6 drive 7 so we've got a 7 speed gearbox in this as well Normally they don't fold in when you're doing over a certain miles per hour. But so power folding dormer is there. If we switch the lights on, spray the screen, there you go. It's, it's just blasted the headlights as well there. Warning on the on the dash there is only about the key being low battery. And here you can change, click that, your information display in the centre, main menu, show warnings, vehicle setup, trip computer, display settings, and then service menu below that. On the uh, on the dash, this uh, the the instrument panel, for want of a better word, it's it's obviously digital and projected, but you can change the way it looks. Which uh, not quite. If I can just remember display settings. So display settings, temperature, appearance appearance and then you've got off-road view which is uh, selected and torchlight effect so we'll click that and that that just changes the, the view slightly it uh, makes them a little dimmer I can't see what's happening there but I'm sure that will be changing the mode all I can see really is the uh, navigation. If I put it on audio video, let's see. What does that do? So there. Second. It's gone on to TV. Dab, CD, portable audio, so and then onto TV, which of course it won't show me, but you may be able to see from over there. The climate control switches here. So, so that's your front heated front screen there, heated rear screen, electric boot release, parking sensors front and rear. Before I forget, I'll just show you. Uh, I don't think I've already done it. If we just pull up there and select reverse, that changes to your reversing camera. Check all the window motors, pretty sure they all work. Yep. The 
steering wheel's toasty. But great value for money. I mean, these must be somewhere in the region of 100 grand these days. So uh, for the price of this, when you think what you're getting and the engineering you're getting, the comfort, um, the absolute bargain. And it, as I've said again in previous videos, there's always a compromise, I suppose. Um, I think these are fantastic on fuel, really, for, um, for the size of the engine. Very, very good. But if you're not doing a lot of miles, or your first priority is safety, then you just couldn't get a better vehicle than, what, than one of these. We, uh, we spoke to the chap who was in the accident on the M6, and uh, a lorry driver was texting behind him. He'd come to a stop, and the lorry driver ran into the back of him, and, and he, fortunately it was in a Range Rover. And the, the, even the Range Rover was squashed up to the back of his seat. And although he, he got a couple of fractures, which you, you'd have to expect being hit by a lorry at 70 miles an hour, it just pushed into your seat belt. Um, he survived it and, it, and he he got out. And the first thing he wanted to do with his insurance money is go and get another Range Rover. And and I'm pretty sure that chap will never ever drive a, a, another make or model of car in his life. Uh, he couldn't speak high enough. And, and I saw it on the front of the paper. And you wouldn't believe that anybody would be able to get out of that. So. If, uh, if your priority is your family, safety, comfort, then it's, uh, this is the car for you. It's, it's just <laughs> beautiful to drive. You can you can see no expense has been spared on it um, with the uh, Pirelli Scorpion Verdes on uh, on all four corners. Uh, it's uh, it's been very very well looked after. Another thing about Range Rovers is, is I, I'm, there's never any, for me, there's never any temptation to speed. Um, I, I enjoy driving them so much. Here we are, back at the garage. I'm going to have to get out into the horrid cold weather after being in this lovely, nice and warm Range Rover with heated seats and steering wheel. It's, uh, it's not something I want to do.